So, last we left off, Air was seated down Siona and all on her lonesome, having taken all of their food and, well, you know, trying to win back Britannia. But as one can see, um, well, this is a very classic case of war for Air with the Britannians. Not only is a mercenary uh, trying to raid a village that will soon be under our control again because we can take the city, um, Aaron's army here has hopped right in to aid us in seating down a town with 87 troops so we now have 1222 and he doesn't want to go in so i'm going to press start here and we're going to notice that we also have four siege engines and we are breaking down their siege engines before they break down ours and there's just about nothing going on here that makes any oh look there's an army of 822 guys you know what that's fine we would love to fight those people but i am not giving up my participation in this siege no i did this not you i don't even know how long time it's gonna take for this guy to wait i feel like he's just not gonna go in ever because i'm in here which is really sad but oh my god no oh look no, if, if these armies together are going to beat us, definitely, because our troops are not a great... You're not know fine. Leave. Let's do this. If he, he's going to go in now, I just know it. Hold there. So tell me who I fight. Yeah, you fu I'm not even sure we're fighting everybody. Oh, God. Uh, stay your hand. Uh, not worthy. Okay, uh, we'll fight. And actually, it's not even... Not even everyone. Do you know what? I bet this... I bet he's fighting now. 21 defenders and, and we're stuck here. Fighting this guy because he's not helping. You piece of shit, Aaron. Come on. Oh, God. At least it's a wide and big open field. So what we're gonna do is uh, probably get absolutely destroyed. Well, we're just gonna try and kill some of their guys with archers. And I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, All way. I know is I have no, oh my God, I still have this stupid sword. Ah! I know I have no intention of letting our entire army die. If I have to, I will flee. I am not covering a whole army again. Not when Aaron has ruined everything. Oh, that was a leader. I think a Shorky. Yeah, that's a guy. That's also a guy right there. What's he doing? What is this guy doing? I don't know, but he's down for the count now. I have a whole start just going and do stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, one thing we... Oh, my... Wait. I was about to say one thing we can't have happening is us uh, uh, getting knocked out. But it looks like uh, maybe some other guys have other ideas. Okay, they charged a bit. Distracted. Disinterested. I don't know what they did. They did something. Uh, distracting, for sure. That's about as much as we could do against these guys. You know what, actually, we have... This is the bad move. We need to get our guys beside and behind all of these. Not, uh, standing head on like this. <clears throat> it's okay. Uh, obviously, this is the first round of maybe just two. Since I'm very good at getting myself healed up in the first round. Okay, well, I think that's good enough. That's good enough. That's not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, it's still terrible, but it's not as bad as it could be. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to have our guys and they're not going to be dead on. Now, because our cavalry and infantry are such higher number numer... You know, blah, blah. That means that this should work. Problem is, obviously, that there are cavalry out and about places which we need to avoid. Shoot! Oh, shoot also, of course, hold fire so they don't draw attention. Good idea. Yeah. I 
And there's still a guy just randomly running into the line there, which is good. I mean, yeah, we, we are bringing some attention to us by doing this, but we kind of need to get rid of them. Okay, actually, uh, it's a bit awkward because well, our guys aren't shooting yet. Now, they also have archers, and I'm hoping to kill their archers now, as we are in a good position against them. Now, I just hope we get it before our... I think their infantry is getting up on our infantry. Okay, I have to have a look, because this is really important to know. Like, if our infantry is getting bungled, it's... Uh, yeah, it kind of is. Okay, uh, retreat. That was a bit faster than expected. Oh boy. Alright, it's raining. That means they're slower, it means we're slower. But it also means uh well actually, you know, I know that I need to just get my men out here ASAP this time. Okay, they have the cavalry coming. That's fine. That's how it's gonna go. Um uh, I think it's okay. We got Rocheval, he's down. Our guy's over there. Their guys are slowly approaching. Uh, I think we need to be a little bit closer. Okay, these guys. Oh. Okay. Loose arrow time. These guys are messing it up. Bloody cavalry. Okay, that's all right, I think. Have to move a bit forward, because we can't. Oh, there's too many of these bloody cavalry guys. They're really distracting everything. I've got to get rid of them. They're ruining the plan. Oh, fuck sake. They are really ruining my plan here. They're not supposed to be focusing these stupid guys. They're supposed to be focusing these guys. We are not there yet, so let's just kill as many as we can, whilst we have the chance, I suppose. Okay, looks like we just don't have that many archers anymore at this rate. go out we go oh jeez feel like this isn't working how many archers do we have we have some but i'm feeling like the plan is not working thanks to all the enemies oh, i should be changing it up how many we have 28 okay okay yeah we're bloody out out of them come on really really shit you know what what am i doing I'll put them over there. Sort of at the sides. Cavalry. Follow me. We need to take out their cavalry. We need to do it now. We have good cavalry. I'm fairly sure we've really good cavalry. Why have I I should have been using those to stop their cavalry? They should have been following me, not just jerking off back there. Oh, it's pretty stupid of me to do that. Definitely needed to do that. I mean like what? Look at this. Our cavalry is much more impressive than whatever the hell this is. Right? Pretty sure our guys didn't have to just die. Well, at least we can take care of their archers a bit here. Yeah, we're going to take our cavalry right through these guys. Oh, 
Oh, I know that actually works out. Looks like it's not not working out. I mean... It's kind of not working out for some reason. Are they not attacking? Like, just because you're on follow doesn't mean you don't attack. Okay, fine. I'll put them on charge then. I mean, there's literally no reason for them to not attack. My big problem with cavalry here is that they just don't bloody know what they're doing. I want them to attack the archer line. Can they not just attack them as they run through? Is that so hard? Is that really so hard? I feel like they think it's really hard. Look at these guys. Kill them. Kill them all. Now they're at our infantry line and we're losing big time. All right, you know what? It's not going to work. We just have to try and get away. We're losing some stuff, but it's worth it. And... Huh? Wait, what's happening? Who's this? Lassand? It shames you? Well, I will consider it because we did not want to do it. And yeah, ooh, now suddenly bloody Aaron's a hero. Oh, he was patient enough. He knew that I didn't want Batania to fail. Okay, you know what? We need to get rid of Aaron. Aaron needs to go. That guy's a piece of piece of human trash, is what he is. We're going in here. If you want to fight that army and die, be my guest. I ain't doing it. Good luck. Do you know what? I kind of feel like just letting Aaron fall here. He didn't deserve shit. And oh yes, if you you may have. You may have noticed that there's three wars going on. One with Sturgia, one with the Southern Empire, and one with Vlandia. Because Vlandia, of course, have to go to war with us. So, and, all right. Well, at least Britannia is getting in there in Vlandia. But yeah, they really wanted to fight the Southern Empire. I really just don't know why. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes sense because they're raging idiots, but, you know, that's how it goes. Um, rent some of my prisoners, hire some guys, and otherwise we'll just wait here a little bit. Are we gonna... Are we gonna save Eren? Okay, do you know what? We... I think we have to save Eren. We don't want our country to fall. Oh. Hello? Do you help all the problem? Surrender or die? Why do we talk to him like that? Did these guys just flee? Oh, <gasps> Aaron just fled. Oh, I'm Aaron. I am the best of everything. No, Aaron. You suck. Big time. But I'm saving your ass this time. Because why? I don't know. He doesn't even have a thing up here. He even used to. Eh, whatever. No one cares about Aaron. We're fighting in a very odd little village here. And I don't think that's a good thing. Mostly because Aaron's gonna... Aaron's gonna go in on his own with all his troops and make them die on the Sturgeon Shield Wall. That's, that's what he's gonna do. It's what he's gonna do, and it's sad. But I think we can save him. I think we can save him. It's gonna cost some troops, but... There's not really much to do about it at this point. Oh god. Here come the cavalry. The literal cavalry is coming. Come on, die! There we go. Okay, there's that. Everyone there is under control. Yes, hello, man. Are you wanting to fight our cavalry? And we have a cavalry up out of Vazu. Up out of Vazu. What is the enemy doing? Anything? Not whatever. Bloody go. Bloody go. Whatever. I don't care. <coughs> We're going in. Are they up there? I think the action's up there. Well, we're not head on, so it's fine. We're not totally in the danger zone. It's gonna slowly ride up here and stab people on the way if we can. Honestly, we should probably dismount people, but it also looks like it doesn't matter too much. 
Perhaps uh, Aaron actually managed to fight most of this guy's good troops. Well, not all of them. There's plenty of good troops right here. But, yeah, I know what I mean. The, uh, the longer time the battle goes on, the fewer good troops you have, and that seems to be the case here. Except that I still have loads of good troops, because I'm not an idiot. Except I'm a little bit of an idiot. And I lost most of my good archers in the battle. I'm probably not dead, all of them, but still, you know, it's, uh, it's something. Hey, get... That was my kill! Aaron just wants to take everything from me, doesn't he? Well, he's not taking my glory, and I'm just saving Aaron here by fighting these guys. So, there's that. Okay, this weapon is much better on foot. Very good on foot. Nice and fast and powerful. Not great on horseback. Bit too, uh, what should we say? Short. Just makes sense. Horse is not short, is it? Guys, let's go. Kill, 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 kill. Ah, oh, kill, kill. No, we are. We already killed them all. There's a couple of guys left, I guess. We did it! We won! One enemy left standing! And not anymore. Oh, call off my dogs! Welcome to the party, Ishvan! Grant me the honors of war and do yourself credit. Eh, maybe I'll recruit you. I give up! Call back your dogs! Thanks, Yorig! Ah, you know what? That's very... That feels good. It feels good. Well, we bloody well did it. And I'm sure that maybe some of these guys even have some uh, lords in there. Oh, this guy's got Rocheval. Uh, yes, indeed. I was reminded by someone intelligent in the comments that people in your army can actually also capture people you're fighting. Yours is not a face I know. What is no. your name? But you do love us still. And now I'm legendary. Now we would like... Now, we don't want to talk. We do... Oh, gain a level. We don't want to talk to the prisoner. We actually have a proposal that will benefit us both. Uh, we will take Rocheval. And you will gain a little bit of money. Uh, okay, let's just do this. 2,000 something. Yep. We'll take Rocheval. Thank you very much. Because it's been a while and we need to recruit people. I don't know who these people are that we can recruit, but... Oh. Ah, oh, uh, no, it's air, but okay. Um, this person actually had no experience with us at all. Let's see, he's Oromidoring and Yorick is the leader. Ah, that's the other guy. Well, uh, we do like your equipment and we will take it, sir. Thank you. And now reconsider your allegiance. <sighs> what does he think? He doesn't even love us that much and we can still get him. Welcome to the party, Ishvan. This is what happens when you fight air, Sturger. You lose people. Oh. Oh, no, it's air. Okay, she has a spouse, Lashenek, and she's pregnant, but... Uh, that doesn't... Ooh, they were really with minus with us, so... They will probably... <laughs> she might not... Rec Can she recuse her allegiance even though she's pregnant? I feel like this could be a problem, but... I'm taking a pregnant woman's equipment, and then I'm getting her to reconsider who she's loyal to, and... Holy shit, even- they don't even need to like us! It's only based on charm? She's joining! Wait, are you serious? She... has a husband! My friend. I'm- I'm your friend, though. Okay, oh, well, now I'm your legend friend, and we still need your equipment. Yeah, sorry, mate. Uh, we just do, and uh, that's how it goes. Rogival, though. Stop there. Who are you? It is better we know each other's names, even if we fight. Okay. Uh, well, you're my prisoner, so shut the hell up and have this joke. So you love us, and we'll take your equipment. Sorry, bro. And now it's time for you to consider who you're loyal to, mate, and join us. <laughs> Join us, Rocheval! And now we have 14 out of 80 companions. We're nearly where we were supposed to be before the bargaining happens. Uh, yeah, and if... And might I remind you, if it seems a bit insane that we're convincing everybody to join us, Air does have 367 charm. Looks like it's going off the chart. Now someone that charming is bound to <laughs> convince anyone of anything. 
Now, I feel like, what does this really do? I mean, the thing is, we're going siege engineering to make siege go faster, but it's not going that much faster. And is it really worth... Well, we're just going to put a point into riding here, because riding's good. Is there anything we really want? Oh, we could do stewardship as well, actually. Stewardship is good to increase a party size. Well, the party size is getting pretty healthy. But you know what? I think we are probably gonna do we're fighting people with melee all the time more vigor is good now two-handed damage or armor penetration i feel like both are good but i'm gonna go armor penetration because well it also increases destructible object damage by formation troops i'm not sure that arch is ever gonna do that but um also damage is is just you know it's damage it's Something, something. I have a reason for my choice and I don't know if it makes sense. Doesn't matter. We have Sionan. We have Sturger on the back leg. They might even just give the heck up. They did take Legator though, which honestly I, I don't care about. I care about us getting our lands back and staying in control of our lands. Oh hey, the Northern Empire has taken Uthalame. Neat. Well, let's Flintol Castle now. Dragon Bad's about. New owner for Sionan. I don't know. We actually want Carbanseth because it's right next to another piece of land that we want. I'm not sure I'm going to be... It's not like fine. Let's see who it can be. Okay, Aradwea is Fen Angle and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't Aaron. So we can just make sure it's this guy just because it seems to be the sensible choice. Aragion up there was voting for it. And he seems to be the one that's voting for fair choices. Oh, Ragonbad is here with Godin? I'm not really sure what they're doing here, but if I could catch up to them for the lols, that would be nice. Uh, there's a guy there. I mean, uh, the Sturgeons are not going to be doing much right now because they can't. They can't do much. We have taken them. Oh, an army of Sturgeon is attacking Pendrek Castle. Huh. Well, I suppose let's see how big an army that is, because there's a bunch of other people around. Hey, Varagonbad. Did you want to say hi? Because I don't think you want to say hi. Vote for New University and Castle. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to care about that. Come on! Let's say you can't actually fight me. So... Oxhall is besieged. With two armies nearby. Ah, uh, yes. Do you know? I know what that means. That means it's not going to get defended. So... Okay, what can we do here? First in castle, whatever. Diplomacy. Sturgia. Consider making peace. 50%. Pose. Yes. They're going to surrender very soon anyway. There we go. Nice and easy. We're probably not making any money now, which honestly doesn't matter. The amount of money you get for that is so little. <sighs> Good stuff. Now I don't need to worry about Pendrake Castle. What we do need to worry about is Oxhall. I also worry about Carbantith. We want Carbantith, but um, first things first. Yeah, I don't know. Got to get down to Oxhall. Got to get down there fast. So, looks like Batani actually did decide to defend Oxhall, which is nice. Um, Geneva was born to uh, Leshenek and Geneva. Oh, wow, good naming. Anyway, funny thing about that is, I, I don't know. Let's see, your child. I don't even see it. Is it going to be his child then? Uh, Svato, Rachna, Ivran, whatever. And I suppose I don't actually know what the kid is. Anyway, the kid's not an hour. We can't see the kid, obviously, because it doesn't show you kids in the wiki thingy. Oh, well. Oh, hey, actually, uh, look at that. Our clan is insane. We're almost at five. Good, we should be. Yeah, it's the most fantastic ever, but I just noticed something. We could get managed prisoners here. There's actually 432 prisoners here. Like, what? That is a lot of prisoners. I'm very interested in that because I want to see how much money I get for this if I go to the tavern and... It's just a free 40,000. I mean, there's really no reason to have them here because they're not going to get recruited. Bam. Done. 
Free money. I like free money. I really do. But enough of that. We have an army. We are not going to bother with whatever's going on on the eastern border. We're going to consolidate our power against Vlandia, who has been screwing us over long enough. And we are the ones that are going to be controlling Vlandia. We have softened Vlandia up in so many different ways throughout as uh, time working for and around and about Britannia. It's really just... Who else has the correct knowledge, powers, and friends to control the lands of Landia. It's air. It's always been air. Province has 451 defenders. Well, I'm not sure anybody feels like helping us here. And I don't really care if they do help us. I mean, they don't have to. Ooh, we'll actually take a lot of their horses because we really sure we're lacking horses. I don't know why I'm bothering buying the expensive ones. I guess we have the money. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to buy all the food because we are, uh, well, you know, that's the best way to make sure that they want to concede. Man, that's a lot of hogs. Hey, look, we basically just paid for all that food with all the prisoners. Wow, that's a lot of, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, time to siege province. They have one day's food left. And uh, like, we will just hope that no army feels like joining us so we can actually do this ourselves because I kind of just want to take my time here. Also, Pravind, I need to... I want to look at have something. Settlements. Uh, where's Pravind? Pravind, there we go. Pravind has decent prosperity, 4,309. If we look at the prosperity of our stuff, that's about the same as Pen cannot. I mean, it's better than Oxhall, which is garbage. And Oxhall's been under contention, so really, Pravind could be a good place for us. Now that I think about it, I should have a look at Car Bansep. What is that? We don't even know what it is just because the enemy has it? Come on. Oh, whatever. It's not going to be this high, I don't think. I'd be very surprised if it was. Anyway, we need to take this one. This one is for us. We're just going to hope the other... Seriously, Garrett? We're taking this town. Stop raiding it, you moron. Oh, I hate these bloody mercenaries so much. So we're in a good position with this siege. Obviously, Vlandian army is going around doing stuff. And there's a lot of people here. They may turn into an actual army. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But we are sieging down this town good. And I do believe that we could probably just go in if we want to if it ends up being dangerous or close we'll just go in and then you know go into the town and to siege oh Bertha, you have no troops what is happening anyway they're probably fighting over there or something i don't know i don't care they can do that it's fine we want to do this siege and the best way to do that is to kill these wolves. look at this town it's capable and yes we'll have to repair them again i know it's fine really I don't mind repairing them again. We just need to make sure that we keep our troops intact though for this siege. Because Vlandia will not accept this. And yes, we're gonna get both walls because it's an easy peasy thing to do. And uh, now. Now they have no siege engines, no walls, and they also didn't lose that many men from having no food, but that's okay. We got sorted. We are probably about to take our newest capital. Pravind, which is bridged towards us by Oxhall, the crap town. And you know, what? after that, we probably do need Air to get married because she still wants to lead Batania. And the only way to do that is actually by being in the Batanian family somehow. Which, Batanian family, I mean. In the Fen Griffin Dock family. And there's not a lot of choices here because Mingus, he's out of the running. Okay, so there's just two options Mouncer and Wrath. Mouncer is an older man, obviously more capable, very happy. He's got a lot of enemies, some friends, and he's got a son, Wrath, who is more around his age. But he's just not quite as strong. At least not with the archery. Let's see. Eight, 184, two-handed, 182. Yeah, look, this guy is just better. So whilst he's older and he's got a terrible haircut, you know, I can get him to cut his hair and I mean, 41 is not that old. It's feral enough for kids. 
So, yeah, looking better now. Whose fault is it? I think we can all pat air on the shoulder here. 